What's up guys? I'm just going to preface this. Uh, this recording that you're watching right now, it's literally like my 17th time recording this video. I have like mush mouth today. So please bear with me. All right. I'm Brock Page. That's a random door. Poor audio. But let's give your bookie a noogie today. All right. NBA Wednesday night slate. Houston, Orlando. A lot of movement in, the, uh, in this one. See? The Rockets open five now. Eight and a half. Total open 219. Now up to 221 flat. Currently Houston's 340 to win it. And at the moment, Orlando's taking just 35% of the public action. So look for them to catch another half a point or so very soon. Probably see this one tip off closer to nine points. If you're leaning toward Orlando in this one, not sure why. One and three ATS in their last four. Two and eight in their last ten. They're also a dismal 11 and 18 covering as the dog. 5 and 12 covering at home. But if you think the Magic's an absolute dud in this one, just keep in mind they're facing a Houston team who's been ice cold against the number themselves. Houston's failed to cover their last six straight games, and they're just 2 and 8 covering in their last 10. The Rockets are also just 4 and 7 covering against sub 500 teams. So not a lot of confidence in either team uh, by me. Might want to buy it up and use them in a teaser. Now, scoring-wise, good amount of unders between both squads, 1-3 and three to the under in their last four, respectively. That said, though, Houston's coming off a home contest with the Lakers that featured 290 total combined points. They also gave up 121 points two nights before that in Washington. So despite all these numbers, I'm still a little gun-shy on leaning toward the defense. Both teams have had a bad habit recently of giving up quite a few points. So I'm going to take a pass on the scoring and when it comes to picking sides, uh, these numbers are just too equally lackluster. I'm definitely going to want to buy it up and take the magic in a super teaser. So all told, I'm going to buy it up and take the magic in a super teaser, plus 18 and a half as the first pick in my 10-pointer. All right, next game, New York plus nine at the nation's capital. Total move downward to 210 and a half. Currently, Washington's 400. Look for them to be in a money line parlay or two. And at the moment, 57% is actually riding with the Knicks to get the job done. But if you find yourself backing the Knicks in this one, keep in mind that they're just 1-4 covering in their last five. They're also covering just 20% of their games that tipped off at the current point spread. They've got themselves a Washington ball club who's 3-2 and two against the spread in their last five, 4-3 and three in their last seven. But the Wizards have had some trouble uh, in spots against the number of them uh, the <laughs> themselves. Washington, 7-11 on their home court, 7-16 laying the points, 5-11 is the official home favorite. That's all against the spread. Not a real clear-cut favorite in this one according to the trends. And according to the totals, not a real clear-cut idea as to where the scoring is going to end up either. Washington games 3-1 to the overs in their, in their last four. Nick games 3-1 to the unders. So uh, not going to worry about a play on the total. And once again, I'm going to forego a play on the number as well. All in all, I'm going to exercise my right to pass and take no action on this game. But uh, if you have a beat on this matchup, feel free to let us all know and type it up in the comments section below. Because, you know, we can all predict, uh, predict the future. Uh, anyway, next game, Detroit, Miami. The markets opened this one up as a pick. Since then, Miami's taken all that early action. They're now laying three and a half at home. Total open 195, now 196. Currently, Miami's 3-2 to two to win it outright. And at the moment, 55% of the public's leading toward the Pistons. Look for their backers to lose half a point or so by tip-off if this trend continues. And speaking of the trends, they haven't favored the Miami Heat much this year. Just 15-21 and 21 covering overall and just 4-13 and 13 covering at home. Miami has been relatively staying afloat, though, when it comes to their most recent contest. Miami actually went 2-1 and one ATS in their last three, 5-5 five and five against the number in their last 10. And they're going up against a Detroit squad who's failed to cover in four of their last six. So if you're a Miami backer in this spot here, you should probably feel good about yourself. The trends aren't completely shitting on you. That in mind, though, you are going up against a Detroit squad who's been an excellent 22-13 and 13 against the spread overall for the year. The Pistons against the number have also gone 12-6 and six away from home. 12-6 and six as the dog and 10-4 and four as the official road underdog. Detroit's also 1-0 covering in their head-to-head -head matchup with Miami. All that in mind, a Miami lean isn't terrible, but a Detroit lean is far more supported by the trends. Now, scoring-wise, lots of unders between both, squad, uh, both squads. 
three and one to the under in their last four respectively. That certainly uh, is going to explain the low opening number on the total. And like clockwork, the betting public moved that line upward despite all these unders. I'm really thrilled with the trends when it comes to the total, but I'm not so thrilled that it's not meshing with the line movement. So when it comes to the line, I'm going to take a free pass there. And when it comes to the number, it actually appears that it's a pretty good spot for backers on either side. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd probably lean toward Detroit catching the 3.5, but I really couldn't uh, fault you if you leaned either side in this one. So when it's all said and done, I'm going to plop this Pistons team into another pick in my super teaser. So all told, I'm going to take the Detroit Pistons plus 13.5 as the second pick in my 10-point super teaser. All right, next game. Minnesota Brooklyn, the T Wolves open three and a half, now seven, no surprises there. Total open two fourteen and a half, now two sixteen. Currently, the T Wolves are the two dollar and seventy cent favorites on the money line, and at the moment, just forty one percent is leaning toward the Nets. But the good news for the unpopular is this: the trends certainly support your decision to back Brooklyn. They're three and zero covering in their last three, five and two in their last seven. Brooklyn against the spread is also 8-4 against winning ball clubs and 6-3 and in games that tip off at the current number. Now with all those trends in mind, the Timberwolves have put up some pretty good numbers themselves. 3-1 outright in their last four, 2-0 covering in their last couple of games. Minnesota has also been one of the best road covering teams in the league, covering nearly 80% of their games as the official road favorite. So once again, I've said this before, picking games is never easy, and this one certainly might not be your strongest pick on the card. But when it comes to the totals between these two teams, we're seeing a lot of unders. Despite the upward line movement, Brooklyn's gone 2-1 to the under in the last three. Minnesota games are a perfect 3-0 to the under in their last three themselves. If you're leaning toward a play on the total in this one, the under might be the sensible play. But as of now, it's the unpopular one. So all in all, I'm once again foregoing a play on the total in the money line. I do like Brooklyn, uh, plus the points at home here. I think this would be, uh, once again, another great spot to buy it up and tease it. Therefore, I'm going to move the line and take the Brooklyn uh, Nets, uh, plus 17, as the third pick of my 10-point super teaser. All right, next and final game for the show. Raptors, Bulls, Raptors 6, total 216, Raptors 225 to win it. 43% leaning toward the Bulls. If you're one of the 43 percenters leaning toward Chicago, something unexpected, baffling, and unheard of two nights ago happened. The Bulls actually failed to cover by a measly half point, might I add. Um, that's no problem, though, because if you've been riding with the Bulls, you've been cashing in a lot of tickets lately. The Bulls against the spread are 3-1 in their last four, 8-2 in their last 10, 13-2 in their last 15. Surprising to see Toronto taking money in this spot here. Just 1-3 in three ATS in their last four. Only 40... Ah, uh, oh, fuck it. Toronto has been consistent against teams of a, a lower caliber, though. 9-6 and six covering against sub-500 teams. They've also been a fairly solid covering team all year long, going 20-15 and 15 against a number in all games. Once again, another one of those games where if you look at the angles and you really break it down, not an easy one to pick against a number for either side. Now, when it comes to the total... The public moved this line upward, and rightfully so. Chicago's 3-0 to the over in their last three. Toronto 2-1 to the over in their last three themselves. According to the trends and the line moves, the over is certainly a sensible play here. Just keep in mind, though, that both teams' last three games closed out with a fairly low posted total, and none were nearly as high as the current 216 line. But all told, I'm going to go ahead and finish today's video with my fourth and final pick of the Super Teaser. I'm leaning toward the Chicago Bulls plus 16 as the fourth and final pick of my Super Teaser. Now, if you're unfamiliar with teasers, I normally bust those out during basketball. And the reason for that is this. We have a lot of games to choose from. And if something's too good to be true, then yes, indeed it is. Teasers ain't cheap. A 14 teaser for 10 points a game is going to cost you anywhere between a buck 20 and a buck 50, depending on where you're shopping. They're expensive. You have to lay a lot of money to win 100 bucks. Plus, a tie is a loss, and I'm teasing 10 points on all underdogs. Teams expected to lose. So once again, teasers are expensive. They ain't cheap. And if it seems too good to be true, then it probably is. Thank God I'm done with this video because I cannot talk. I sound like a dog with peanut butter on the roof of his mouth. 
God's honest truth, this was the 17th time I recorded this video, and that's my best take that I just posted on YouTube. All right, and I'm not even going to go through my spiel about not being an expert and all that mumbo jumbo because you know what? You already know, you're well aware, and just through my delivery of this video today, I think it's pretty obvious that I am not an expert, and I certainly cannot predict the future, but it's fun, and I'm a gambler, and I'm a degenerate, and if you're watching this, I'm sure you're a degenerate too, and we're uh, of the same caliber, so I support you, and uh, I hope you do really well, and give uh, your bookie that noogie that I wanted you to give him that I said at the beginning of the video. I'm rambling on. I think it's time for a beer. I'm out. See ya.